Welcome to the Lonely Kayaker. It's the Rock and Roll Geek Show. Thank you for joining me, friends. This is the Lonely Kayaker. I'm in Jacksonville, Florida, and in the Intercoastal Waterway, a place called Marsh, Marsh Landing. I'm out here in a kayak that John borrowed from one of his old lady neighbors, not really old lady, but probably a lady my age. Did not get a deer on this hunting trip, although I had a great time, and Darren and his family were so hospitable, it was unbelievable the amount of uh, generosity they did towards me. Anyway, we had a great sushi dinner last night. Uh, ran into friend of the show, Jimmy Paget, who I've never met before. Said he's been listening to the Rock and Roll Geek Show since like 2004. I think I might have a fish on. I'm getting a bite. He said he's been listening since, since like the beginning days, even back to the first Susie Quattro interview. And he came bearing value for value. So thank you, Jimmy Padgett. It was nice to meet you, man. He gave me two shiny C notes, which was awesome. Thank you so much, um, Jimmy Padgett. Great dinner. My friend Mike Burns showed up. John was there. My friend Deborah, one of my oldest friends in the world, Deborah Lowe, uh, used to be my roommate back when I was in my tw uh, 21 years old. She was there, she brought lobster, caught lobster from the uh, Keys. They go every year for like a month and she brought me a couple, me and John, a couple of lobsters for dinner. And here I am now, I stayed at John's last night. We hung out outside his apartment or his condo till probably about 12 midnight. Three old ladies sit out there every night and drink beer and wine and just shoot the shit. And one of the neighbors called the cops on us. We had the police rolled up. I'm sorry for the wind, but I can't do anything about it. The police rolled up about 10:45, close to 11 o'clock. They said, "Oh, sorry, we got a call about disturbance." Clearly, you old ladies aren't a disturbance. So we, they like were flipping whoever off called the cops on us and we tried to cover up this wind. So senior citizens in, in Jacksonville, Florida, part, hard partiers, good times. So we got up this morning, I was a little bit hungover and went and got some bait and here it is about 12.30 now, a little bit past 12.30, and we're in the intercoastal waterway fishing. I've got to, I dropped a couple of crab traps, tried to get some blue crab, and we got some fiddler crabs and some shrimp, and we're just out here enjoying the day. And I throw a line out. So I will check back in in a little while and let you know the progress. All right, friends? Uh, this is the Lonely Kayaker checking out. Like if he can find us, it's me. Lonely Kayaker checking back in. By the way, with Rob Grange from Ted Nugent uh, is on YouTube giving his bass lessons. That's how he enters. Hey. It's me, Rob Grange. This is the Lonely Kayaker. It's pouring down rain. Well, it's not pouring, but it's coming down rain. Still out here, no bites. Intercoastal waterway, marsh landing. John's calling me. Don't know why bait or crap. Oh, great. We dropped crab traps out and I didn't tie the bait apparently in too well and he didn't get any crabs. I'll check mine later. Hopefully I got my bait didn't get lost. I'm possibly the worst fisherman on the face of the earth. <laughs> so I don't have high expectations. I'm just a fucking idiot out here. But do I have a fish on? I feel like I might have a fish on, but I do not. <sighs> All right, lonely kayaker.
horrible fisherman. John's checking the crab trout. Let me see what's in it. See, he's already fallen in twice. He's right. He's he's pad paddling a stand-up paddle board that he's got rigged for fishing, and he's already tipped over twice. And I'm half expecting him to tip over when he's pulling that crab trap up. Do a little play-by-play. -play. He's pulling it up, pulling it up, pulling it up. And he also doesn't have a life preserver on either. Is that bag still in it? The bag's still there, right? Yeah. All right, just put it back down, I guess. Try to lay it flat where the uh, things will open up. No crabs. Ah, fortunately, we're not planning on having fish for dinner tonight, so... Even that said... Where am I here on the backpack? Even that being said, it's a beautiful day, rain and all. Lonely kayaker, checking out for now. I'll come back in with an update later. Lonely kayaker out. Hi, it's me again, the lonely kayaker. All right, I'm just about out of bait. I've gotten maybe one or two bites, no fish. There's mullet jumping like crazy, which is very beautiful to watch. And I'm gonna probably head in pretty soon. Very windy. It sounds like it's windy, but uh, that's because it is windy. <laughs> Who am I kidding? All right, so I'm gonna wrap it up. By the way, on the Rock and Roll Geek Facebook group, I'm gonna have to cover this up. Okay. On the Rock and Roll Geek Facebook group, there is uh, not a link where you can download the Alice Cooper book, ba Billion Dollar Baby by Bob Green, his uh, chronicles of being on tour with the Alice Cooper group in 1974, I think. He played Santa Claus and they beat him up at the end of every show. Great book. There's one good story in there that I can remember. I'll try to tell it quick because I know it's windy here. Uh, they're playing Toledo, Ohio. It's a... It's a uh, it wasn't a real a gig that was originally on the tour. It was like a pickup show, and it was on the way, and they figured they'd make some money. And they got there, and the crowd was hostile, <laughs> and they were throwing stuff like crazy. And uh, Alice was getting scared. He was dodging shit. There was bottles flying. There was, and then then somebody threw an M80 on the stage, and they went bam. And uh, sorry for hurting your ears. Alice freaks out, runs off stage, and says, I'm not going back on there. They're going to kill us. And the uh, M80 knocked one of their road crew to the ground. And uh, So Alice refused to go back on. This was like in the second song. And uh, he, he, he got in the car, told the limo driver, take me back to the hotel. Fuck this shit. So they all get back to the hotel. Bought, um, who's their manager? Shep Gordon is on the phone with the road manager saying, you got to get these guys back out over there. And um, Alice refused. And um, so they thought about it and they made up a story that one of the M80s hit a light, one of the lights and it smashed the light and sh light uh, sh glass shards went into Michael Bruce's eye and cut his eye and he's in the hospital and they may have to cancel the tour. This was their excuse. So they went back to the uh, venue or the road manager went back to the venue, forced the guy to pay them the full amount because somebody in the audience uh, seriously injured one of the guys in the band. Somehow they talked him into paying him and it made news all over the country that Alice Cooper had to uh, leave a sh during a show because Michael Bruce is hurt and he was going to try to make the next gig, which was all a story. It was all a bullshit story, just made up. And so, yeah, good book, Billion Dollar Baby. Look somewhere on the Rock and Roll Geek Facebook group. Somewhere, somebody posted a picture of the book and one of the comments has a link where you can download the mobile version of the book, okay? That's wrong. I didn't do it. I don't know who did it, but... Okay, so uh, thank you for listening. I'm going to close out now with a, a... Oh, shit, 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 shit. Hold on. Oh, fuck. Okay, okay. Wow. All right, I'm going to close out with something from... Uh, 
um, the Live from the Astro Turf, the band reunited with all original members, except for, of course, uh, Glenn Buxton, who was, uh, by the way, throughout this book, Glenn Buxton is completely out of it. I mean, they had two extra musicians, one guy on keyboard and a guy playing Glenn Buxton's parts because Glenn was so fucked up. They just didn't count that half the time they turned him down in the mix and had the other guy hire. But this was a reunion with Alice, Dennis Dunaway, Neil Smith, and Michael Bruce. And playing the part of Glenn Buxton was uh, Roxy Ryan. Great show, great reunion show. Some of the Rock and Roll Geek friends, or ex Rock and Roll Geek friends, were there, including Joy Rock and Roll was there, and some other people were there as well. But, so I'm going to play something from that. Uh, how about Be My Lover? Thank you for tuning in, friends. I'll talk to you soon. You know how to reach me, rockandrollgeek.com. Send me an email, rockandrollgeek at gmail.com. And uh, Rock and Roll Geek Facebook group, you know where it is. We've got to answer two questions that I know you're not uh, one of those. <sighs> you know who I'm talking about. Thanks for listening, friends. Value for value. Thank you again to Jimmy Padgett for the very generous value for value yesterday. It was nice to meet him in person. I'll talk to you soon. Here's Alice Cooper. Be My Lover, live from the AstroTurf in, I think, Dallas, Texas.
Neil here. Good job. Well. Playing for Glenn tonight. Even though we know Glenn's here somewhere. Probably smoking a cigarette in the corner. Whatever he's doing, it's illegal. 